Hey everyone, I hope that you're having a great week. I'm excited today to share with you a couple of reminders about some things that are quickly coming our way. Now, normally reminders aren't all that exciting. I understand that. But these reminders are exciting to me because as we talk about reopening and phasing into reopening and wading through all of this COVID time, we're now starting to see more and more things bubble up that we can be a part of. So first of all, be aware that on Sunday, February the 14th, which is Valentine's Day, from 6 to 8 p.m., we will again have an opportunity for our FUSE students to gather in the fuse box in the FEC. You'll get more information about that, but if you'd help us spread the word, we would be very grateful. Again, Sunday, February 14th, 6 p.m. Also, our first children's ministry in-person opportunity is coming our way on Wednesday, February the 24th. So again, if you can start to put that on your radar and help us spread the word, you'll get more information about that as well. But we are thrilled that we have that opportunity also coming our way. In the meantime, there are some things that we can continue to do online that make a significant difference and let us connect in a variety of ways. One of the things I wanna invite you to do is every week, we post ahead of time our weekend worship services. If you could help us out, if you're a person who's on social media, if you would take what we put on our Facebook and spread that, share that on your own personal timeline, it's a really simple way to share and with others uh, our worship opportunities and experiences. Imagine if we all did that, if we all shared on our timelines the opportunities to connect and worship. It's a really simple way to let a whole bunch of people know, not even geographically you know, centered around Williamsport, but really anywhere in the world, the opportunity to join with us in worship. So if you could start to do that on a weekly basis, it'll take you 10 seconds to do. It's something I've started to do, and again, a really easy way to connect with others and let them know when we're worshiping and invite them into that experience. And then finally, the last thing is you would be aware we are making it a goal the next number of weeks and really throughout Lent as we get there to be blessing our community. We spent some time over the holidays seeking to bless many of our health individuals, people in the health field dealing directly with COVID. Now we also want to continue doing that, but also be blessing our educators who have had to go above and beyond in order to try to work with our students in this COVID season. Uh, so we're going to be focusing on a different school in our community each week. We began this week with Cochrane Primary, and so if you know any connections there, know any people there, please reach out to them, uh, pray for them, share a story about Cochrane that's uplifting. It's one simple way that we can be a blessing to those serving right now in our education system. So those are some of the reminders I wanted to put before you, and I hope that starts to stir your heart. Uh, after all this time of waiting, uh, we increasingly are moving into this time, this season of reopening and what that will look like. So church, uh, we never stopped. We never stopped being church. Uh, we continue to be the hands and feet of Christ in whatever way we've been able to be that through COVID, and that's gonna happen as we eventually move out of COVID as well. So if you could join with us in those ways, we would be most, most grateful. Please continue to keep the ministries of this place in prayer. Know that you are in our prayers as well. And I'm so, so thrilled about what God is stirring among us and what God is leading us into. Blessings to you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.